G'day scientists, today I'm reviewing the Retro Radio Advent Calendar from Haynes. It cost me $40.79 from Amazon. On the front here you can see it says a different experiment every day and there's numbers on here to count you down until Christmas Day. However, this is just a box, inside is where the Advent Calendar actually is. On the back of the box you can see a bit of what the Advent Calendar looks like, what the components look like, the instruction manual and when it's finally assembled, what the FM radio looks like. I'm super excited to do this kit. I've never opened an advent calendar all in one day. It's something I never would have been allowed to do as a kid, so I'm genuinely excited to get started. Let's open it up. Okay, so, inside, inside a tray, oh yeah, okay. First of all, we've got the instruction manual. It's really big. Here's the advent calendar, and on the front, we've got um, the doors, numbered one to 24. This cool little cardboard cutout that you can turn into um, like an old fashioned radio lookalike. It also needs one nine volt battery, which is not supplied. Okay, it's actually a bit of a spoil. Um, as you read through these pages, it tells you what you're gonna get behind each door. So this here, door number one, you get an LED. It's in the book. If you don't, if you don't wanna know and you want a surprise, don't look in the book first. Let's open up door number one. Punch it in. Pop. Okay, and behind door number one is a tiny, tiny LED. It's green coloured. Let's see what the book says about that. It says you can put it onto the battery to test it. Put the positive end onto the battery. Let's do that. Boom, one light up LED working fine. Door number two. Where's door number two? Here, right, boom. And then open it up, bam. Ah, we have the uh, battery clip. The battery clip goes on like that. And then we can do the same thing as we did before. Just take this time the contact wires onto here. And it lights up green. It's a big door, what's behind it? Oh, actually it opens up really well and it is the loudspeaker and there's the little tiny speaker that came in this kit. Door number four. Opening up door number four. Oh, oh I messed this one up. Totally messed this one up, sorry. Okay, behind door number four is the breadboard. And the breadboard is used to start assembling the circuit together. So it's gonna be getting pretty exciting from this point on. And in fact, in the instructions, it's saying exactly where to put each part now. Door number five, let's not look at the book and have it as a surprise. Opening up door number five. We've got, ooh, <laughs> I would never guess what this is. It is a small uh, reel of red cable. Door number six. All right, door number six. What have we got behind door number six? It is a resistor. The resistors are used to reduce current, just like it says in the instructions here. Oh wow, every day you have to rewire this and wire it back up again. Hey, and now you can see it's lit up, but it's dimmer, much dimmer than it was before. Next, door number seven. Opening up door number seven, we've got, ah, this is a capacitor. All right, I think you get the gist of an experiment a day. They get more and more complicated as the days go on. And I think that's pretty cool because you're gonna learn lots while you're playing with this um, kit. I am gonna shortcut now and open all the doors up in rapid succession and build the final radio. Door number eight. Door number eight, opening it up. Oh, what have we got in door number eight? It's a three-legged voltage regulator and this is used to control a steady amount of current to the circuit. Door number nine. Door number nine. Ooh, it is another type of capacitor. It's a disc capacitor. Okay, next up, door number 10. Let's have a look behind door number 10. We have, it's a circuit uh, that is actually um, almost an entire radio on a circuit. You can see the tiny um, IC underneath that. The cool news is after day 10, you have enough components to build a first 
radio. So I'm gonna do that right now. It does, apparently, it's not gonna be very loud because there's no amplifier. Um, however, you, it will scan and find stations. So it's pretty cool. Can you hear that? My goodness, it's working. Let's change the channel. How awesome, it's actually working. Already super excited. There was a couple of connections I missed to begin with um, and that is gonna make the playtime longer but probably also teaches quite valuable lessons about um, troubleshooting and finding the problems you've got with the circuits as you're building them. Overall so far, very happy. I'm only at day 10, let's keep going. Day number 11, let's have a look. What have we got in day number 11? It is a switch. You can see that little tiny switch. Makes it a very satisfying switchy sound. Okay, day number 12. Let's open up. We've got another resistor. Day number 13. Let's open up day number 13. We've got another switch. Day number 14. Boom. Ha oh, ha, this is very satisfying. It's another switch. Um, getting bored, three switches in a row? Hmm. In the instructions though, oh, it's got like different things. You're adding new features to the radio as it goes through. The first one, uh, day number 13, gives you a improved scan feature. And day number 14, um, it starts to introduce changing the volume. Let's go to day number 15. That was a volume down button. Day number 15, I bet, is a volume up button. Let's have a look. Day number 15, no, I was wrong. It's a third resistor. Okay, day number 16, let's have a look. There's that volume up button. Day number eight, 17, I can't count. Day number 17, let's have a look. Day number, oh, number 17, it's another resistor. Keep putting them in the same order. Day number 18 is a disc capacitor. Day number 19, let's open it up, is Day number 19, it's an amplifier. This is gonna be really important so you can play the radio stations much louder than we have been already. Day number 20, Ooh, what have we got in here? Uh -huh. It's another switch. <laughs> Day number 21, let's have a look. It is a capacitor. Day number 22, it's, but you can't guess, it's another switch. <laughs> Day number 23, opening up. Oh, it's a big door, this one. Day number three is a transistor. Let's look at number 24, Christmas Eve, last day. What is it gonna be? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a resistor, right. Now we've got all of the components here. Let's build this radio up. While I'm building this radio kit together, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it so far, hit subscribe and notify, and then you'll know when my next video comes out and which science toys I think are excellent. Okay, let's connect up the power. Done. Push the tune button. We're gonna find a station. Volume down. Find another channel. Volume up. Pretty good. This is the complete kit here. I'll give you a little bit of a close up. Obviously you can go through and print it out and you've got somewhere to house the radio in there. I don't, it just kind of plops in. And now, what do I think of this? I had great fun building this. Um, in terms of time, it's gonna easily take up 10 minutes each day. Some of the more complicated days could take 20. If you're doing some troubleshooting because you've connected that one, could take even longer. Overall, every day was a learning day. It was great, you learned about the um, properties of the components you found and how to connect them up. Every day was a rewiring exercise, so you're gonna get better and better and better over time. I would say this kit is great value for money. I'm gonna give the Retro Radio Advent Calendar three stars for fun, three stars for learning, and three stars for price. Bye or bye-bye.
It's 100% a buy. I can't recommend this advent calendar enough. Great fun, learning loads, and you get music at the end too. It's a really good reward. If you've enjoyed this video, check out this video where I build this suspension bridge.